What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and welcome back to another one of my Destiny videos. In this video, I'm actually going to be trying my best to explain to y'all on how to get the new chest in the King's Fall Maze. This is actually going to be a very, very tricky chest to find, and it's not going to be so easy to explain on how to do this either. But hopefully this guide ends up helping y'all out, I'm going to try to be as clear as I can. To start this off though, if you could, please remember to support by leaving a like for this video. I want to try to surpass 77 likes! Oh yes, can I pull it off? Okay, so anyways, I'm going to pull up a map on the screen right here of all the panels. As you guys can see, each panel is numbered. This is actually a map for Golgoroth's maze. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to explain where each panel is at. As you guys can see, one is located right when you get to the first intersection. You're just going to want to first bust the left. And this is where one person will actually stand at. The next plate, starting from the very beginning once again, is going to be to the right at the first intersection. So basically we're just going to the opposite side of the tunnel from the last panel that we were just at. Okay, so for number three, this is actually going to be the most trickiest to find. It's going to be a hole above a door. Easiest way to spot out the hole, well, for one, make sure your brightness on the game settings is turned up all the way. It makes it a lot easier down here in this cellar. And also for number two, the ghost can actually outline the hole above the door. So if you pull out your ghost, you can actually see an outline of the hole. So that's also a very handy tip as well to find the open hole above the door. Anyways, how I actually got up to the hole is I jumped on this pillar back here. And from this pillar, I actually jumped up toward the hole with the bones of mayo on. And once I was about to actually get into the hole, I swung my sword to give me an extra little boost and it landed me up here. I'm sure there might be easier routes to get up here, but that's just one method I used. But just to make it clear, you are gonna have to jump up in this hole. You're gonna have to find some kind of route to get up here. This third panel will literally be right down here from this hole on the other side of this door. Okay, so lastly, as you guys can also see on the map for number four, it's off the path of the exit. So if you're running toward the exit, it will be on your right hand side. Once you go down that corridor before the exit, it will be back here on the right in a dead end of this maze, just like the other panels. Except this one is going to be located behind these rocks. You guys will see here in a second. As you guys can see, this is what the exit will look like. It's actually really lit up. But right here is where we're gonna want to turn toward this panel and it actually is going to be down this corridor on the right, once again, behind these rocks. I know I'm kind of just repeating myself here, but I'm trying to make this as clear as possible. I know it can get kind of confusing down here. Okay, now since you know where all the locations are at, and if you don't, just replay the video to figure them out. I know it can get tricky because of how dark it actually is in this maze. Anywho, you actually have to make sure at least one person is on standby near these plates. Not on them, listen to what I said, on standby, ready to stand on it when they are told. Because there is actually a combination to getting this chest. If you guys thought it was tough enough to find these plates, well, we're also going to be having to figure out a combination, and in this video, I'll have you guys the combination as well. And by the way, that combination is 3, 2, 1, 4. So the person in the hole will stand on the plate first. By the way, I'm going off the numbers on this map. So the person that made it through the hole will stand on the plate first, and then for the next person, it'll be to stand on number 2 plate, and then after the number 2 plate is being stood on, number 3 plate should be then stood on. And then once someone is standing on the third plate, lastly, the fourth person is going to want to stand on their plate, which that person should be near the exit. Once again, the combination is three, two, one, four. You guys don't want to jump on all these plates at the same time, or you know, just scrambling up the combination, like, hey, I'll just stand on it, and then you just stand on it, and then you just stand on it. No, once again, it's going to be a pattern of three, two, one, four. 
It's that simple. Then again, me saying that, it isn't actually that simple. This is a pain in the butthole, I will admit. But then again, on the other hand, it's freaking awesome that they decided to add in this secret chest. I like riddles like this. Also, you will know when you're doing the pattern wrong because this sound will pop up when you have done the pattern wrong. it'll keep making smashing sounds continuously. And that means, well, something is going wrong. But anyways, once you actually get that pattern combination correctly, the door where the person who had to jump through the hole to on the other side of that door will open up. So that's how you actually know. The door will actually freaking open for the person who actually found their way onto the other side of the door. Anyways, once that opens, that means a chest has spawned into the maze. And this chest will literally be right down the hall from the hole above the door area. So yeah guys, there you have it, a complete guide on how to actually get this chest to spawn in. I did watch quite a bit of guides on how to do this, and I didn't really see quite a lot of clear guides, it was just like live streams of people actually doing this. So I thought I would sit down and actually give you guys a solid guide to you know, follow along to. Hopefully this guide actually did help you find this chest, because once again I know it can be a pain in the butt, especially on how dark it gets down here. And if you're having any troubles and my directions didn't seem that clear, once again, just replay the video and hopefully that helps you out. But this has been your rifle. If you could, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder at the end of the video to leave a like and or share the video. It's much appreciated, everyone. Once again, I'm trying to surpass 77 likes on this video. And remember, Guardians, to stay safe and don't sleep in pee, obviously. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.